tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate. Here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. If wind chills weren't around eight outside, I would tell you to step outside tonight and enjoy the balmy weather while it lasts because we've got another reinforcing shot of very cold air coming in here first thing tomorrow morning. Right now, it's the warmest it's been all day. We're at 23 degrees with a southwest wind at 20. And boy, those winds are going to scream overnight through the day on Friday. Here's a quick preview of what to expect first thing tomorrow morning. It will be windy all day long. And notice 14. That's because temperatures will begin to fall as we approach sunrise. Rise tomorrow, and those wind chills will be heading back below zero. And yes, there could be a few blustery snow showers blowing around as well. But very cold mid afternoon with wind chills now from zero to as low as eight below, with a temperature of 12 underneath mostly cloudy skies. That's right, once we fall tomorrow morning, temperatures will level out somewhere between about 10 and probably 15 degrees. And then tomorrow evening, look at that, wind chills from 5 to 10 below. So we're now back approaching that dangerous threshold underneath partly cloudy skies. Here's what's happening tonight. Here's that reinforcement of cold, windy weather conditions, along with a few snow showers across the area, especially closer to I-70. As you get up towards Wilmington, even Middletown, earlier this evening, we had a few blustery snow showers push through. And there will be a few more coming in from the direction of Indianapolis overnight. But don't expect much in the way of accumulations across the area. Now, there are a few snow showers still out there from Maysville over to West Union, but again, if anything else, they're really more wind driven and they look more impressive than they actually do accumulate. Check out this temperature trend again. Typically, when the sun goes down, so do the temperatures. That hasn't been the case though tonight. Look at this 16 at 5 p.m. And since then, we've been on a steady rise thanks to that southwest wind across the area. So, all these bright colors on the map, they simply represent strong, gusty winds. They're out of the south now, but look back up here towards Chicago and Bloomington. Notice the arrows are out of a completely different direction, and that will open the door for the Arctic air to get back in here tomorrow morning. So, right now, 19 Dayton, 23 in Cincinnati, even approaching 30 down towards Louisville and Lexington. So with southwest winds most of the night, temperatures will actually stay between about 20 and maybe even climb close to 25 before starting the fall. Our wind chills are between about 0 and 10 above, and that's a nice break because that takes us out of the danger area. But tomorrow morning, those wind chills will begin to fall once again. So here's a look at future cast. First thing in the morning again, as the Arctic front comes through between about five and eight in the morning, there could be a few blustery snow showers. But then after that, we're left with some clouds, some sun trying to peek through. Skies will clear tomorrow night. That's when temperatures will drop back close to zero again for us, with wind chills down as probably low as about 10 below. And then Saturday will be a cold day, although we'll see a decent amount of sunshine. Highs will only be in the 20s. And I'm going out as far as Sunday here because this becomes our next mess after we deal with this latest round of Arctic air. Could see a little bit of an icy mix beginning to develop Sunday night into Monday. Again, the details still a little sketchy right now. We'll try to work that out over the weekend, but the potential is there for a little bit of icy weather Sunday night into early next week. So 14, that will be tomorrow morning after we begin our decline. Overnight, expect those winds to remain quite gusty. And then for tomorrow, 25, that's going to happen here in the next hour or two. Temperatures will fall again during the day. Remember, they'll be between about 10 and 15 with those wind chills from 0 to 8 below. There's a look at your day planner for tomorrow, hovering just a few degrees above 10 with wind chills below 0. Here's your 7-day forecast. We'll drop down to 3 tomorrow night, only 23 on Saturday. And there's the threat for that wintry mix as we get into to Sunday evening. All right, Kevin, thank you.